Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanner with Bricks and Minifig Sioux Falls. Today we're looking at 76961 Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor Attack. This set comes with 693 pieces, six figs, two dinosaurs, a little, little build of a dinosaur, as well as the actual visitor center itself with a bunch of little details and stuff. So let's go ahead, let's crack this guy open, and then let's take a look at the contents inside. So the set comes with five numbered bags and three additional bags with what I can only assume are dinosaur pieces. And interestingly enough, Bag number two is completely missing the number two on it. So that's that's actually the first time I think I've ever had that printing error as well as the, uh, the error for the bags. But as well, we have our instruction manual and another additional bag that I, uh, I didn't see when I poured out the rest. But interestingly enough, that one is also just a plastic bag. So a lot of interesting stuff going on with this, uh, this first set, but let's go ahead. I'll get this built and then we can kind of take a look and I can kind of nitpick, see what see what's going on with the set and give you guys my thoughts. So I'll be back with that. All right, so this is the set complete. It's honestly a really good build. I It took me probably about two hours to build. I watched the first Jurassic Park movie while I put it together, um, which is something I kind of like to do when I'm putting sets together. If, if they've got source material, I'll kind of watch it with it, just, you know, for fun. Um, to, and, and I also took my time with it too, so. Took me about two hours to do. Um, it's a really good set piece. It's just an honestly great set. Um, the dinosaurs look awesome, the raptor and the T-Rex, you know, the, the uh, fossilized T-Rex that's kind of like on the interior, um, so it wouldn't be out here, be on my side. And then uh, the six figs came out great. Um, the only thing is I kind of wish Lex would have gotten the mid legs, the movable mid, mid legs, cause she's taller than Tim, but, We'll, we'll get into all of that stuff a little bit later when we take a little bit of a deeper dive into the figs. So for starters, we're gonna take a look at kind of the, the front area of the visitor center and we'll kind of go over what, what I was really a fan of and what I thought could have been done a little bit better. Um, so for starters, I'm a real big fan of the look of all of the, the stickers. And even though, yeah, they are stickers and everything, I still think it looks really well done, especially if you can align them correctly. Um, but again, that's kind of half the battle. So if that goes by the wayside, then it loses all of its luster. But I still think overall, there's a lot of snot building techniques, especially with all of the columns it has a lot of the same like architectural design that the actual visitor center has as a set piece in the movie. So I think that was done really well as well. And then I also love the color of this medium nougat all on the top here for the spires. It just looks really nice. And it's a cool piece to have in that color um, just for mock building it. I mean, you can use it as like landscaping or other roofing. It just looks really well done. It kind of gives me that Jabba's palace vibe to it. So I was a real big fan of that, um, but we'll go ahead and we'll flip this guy around so you guys can kind of take a look and see. We'll start over here. And in theory, you'd have the, uh, you'd have the T-Rex out back here because that's where the, the um, fossilized one goes. But other than that, I think it's, it's a pretty basic, it's just really like that hallway that leads into like the big, you know, staircase and everything there with the, with the fossilized animals there. You only get one, but it's honestly fine. Um, I think it looks good and I don't think it really needed another for the size of the, uh, the actual hallway. And then if we take him out of the picture and we'll kind of look at the, at the little party room, the event room right in here where Lex and Tim eat all of those, all of that food, you get like a bunch of, re I really love the way that they did these tablecloths. And I don't know if you can see those, but they just, they use this really cool snot building. And it really just looks like a tablecloth draped over a table. I mean, it's really done to great effect on both of them. Um, but I, you know, it's pretty basic food stuff. You know, it's nothing crazy. They don't go like far out with prints. I think printed cookies, you know, I mean, they come in a dime a dozen sets, so I don't really understand their, their uh, non-inclusion here, but I digress. It looks good. It works. And you get a little fan. Um, so over here on this side, we've got 
the laboratory um, where Ray Arnold and uh, Dr. Wu are present. And I think they've done a lot of really great things here, namely the like the robotic arm that holds the eggs where the Velociraptor is born. I think it's done really well. Again, it's one of those things where I think they should have used the already existing print of the egg hatching with like the dino eye coming out. I think that would have been an amazing time to use that piece. But other than that, I mean, the lab equipment, the computer is a fun little build. I mean, you've got a lot of cool stuff. And then you get the piece of amber that's holding the mosquito where they actually, you know, extract the dino DNA. So I think a lot of this has got a lot of great stuff going on. Um, oh, and I almost forgot to mention on the back here, you get a, you get the really nice banner that falls down right after the, right after the fight at the end. So, um, there's just a lot of really cool stuff. I think it's it's a really nice little fun set piece. There's, I think, a lot of playability here. There's a lot of area to recreate scenes from the movie and then to make your own scenes, you know, things that maybe didn't exist in that version of Jurassic Park or whatever, you know. There's a lot of, like, imagination that can be had here. And I think they did a really good job given its size and piece count. I think it's used to pretty good effect. So now we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the minifigs as well as the dinosaurs. So with the figs, you're left with six figs. I think that we're all done really well. Again, I think there's a little room for improvement with some of them. I think Dr. Alan Grant probably should have had his hat. I mean, even though he's not really wearing it that often, I feel like it's one of those things that's pretty iconic, so to speak. So I think he should have gotten his hat for sure. And then Dr. Sattler, I also think that her legs, given that she's wearing socks and shoes like and shorts i think they probably could have gone dual molded with the legs but if it helps save cost i guess that's fine the only two things that i think would have went the longest though is i believe that lex probably should have gotten harry potter's mid legs especially if it's just in sand blue i mean that's perfectly fine and usable i just really think that that could have done a lot more for the character because she is older than tim she's the older sister so i just think it would have really driven that point home and then lastly, I think uh, I think that Ray probably should have gotten like the widow's peak hair where it recedes back a little bit versus um, this hair piece. Not that it's not a good hair piece. I just think that if I'm going to make any modifications to the set with the figs regarding the figs, I think that's probably going to be the first one. Um, but other than that, really, I think they did a great job with the figs. I do think for how much time that John Hammond spends in the in the center in like this area i think that he probably should have gotten included um i think that was a little bit i mean i get wanting to add dr Wu to the set because this would be really the only opportunity for them to add him but i just think that doing and having included john hammond would have been really good for recreating a lot of those scenes but we'll go ahead and move on to the dinosaurs now so we've got the dinos I think they were done very, very well. No new molds, nothing crazy here. I think uh, they both had updated prints though, unless if this one's been done, but I don't recall if the last version of this specific T-Rex had these, uh, these like claw marks and like scarring all over its body. I think that was done really well. Um, comes together as the basic, basic big T-Rex uh, construction goes, you don't, really have to attach too much here. I believe the tail uses a, uh, a, a single Technic pin, um, unless if that's not included in it, there's not really much that you have to do in terms of actually constructing them. It's really just popping the joints and head and tail together to the body and you're pretty much done. Um, and the exact same thing can be said for the Raptor here. Raptor looks good. It's done to great effect. They both, you know, they both feature the ratcheting single, single area ratcheting um, mouthpiece, which looks good. They look menacing. I think that's the thing that really drives these home sets home for kids specifically. Um, so I think this is a great set. I mean, if your kid's into dinosaurs, you get two really large ones and a great set piece. I can say so far, I really recommend this set. So. We'll kind of go on to closing thoughts now and kind of let you guys know what I think about the overall thing, including the price and all that stuff. So 693 pieces, $130. We're looking at airing almost 19 cents apart. 
almost 19 cents per piece. I think that is a little high. Um, granted, it's one of those things that with Jurassic sets, I usually tend to overlook the price per part ratio. I think it is kind of a dated way of looking at the pricing model for a set. Um, these are all very large, very specialized pieces. Same with the Raptor. All of these massive, large pieces that are used to actually create the visitor center. Um, and you get six figs. I think that this is a pretty fair price. I think there's a lot of play here specifically, and I think that's one of the most important things when you're looking at and, and debating a set that is over $100 mainly, is is it a good build and is it playable? And I would say it's a pretty good build. I've, you know, I mean, it's not the greatest build, but it's a good build and it's a good one for kids to do. There's a lot of snot, there's a lot of like advanced technique, which I say, if you've got a kid that's pretty experienced with Lego, 100%. If they're into dinosaurs, 100%. If you got $130, absolutely. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this set, 76961. I think it's a pretty good set and I would recommend. If you guys have any thoughts, any comments, any concerns, if you guys just wanna talk, let me know in the comments. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Make sure to come on through the store. Let me know personally, and you know, if you live in this area or around, come let me know what you thought of the video, what you think of the set, if you're gonna pick it up. Is this a day one purchase for you? Are you gonna wait for it? Let me know. But thanks again so much, guys. You guys take care.